Good evening, everyone. It's Rory Sears. Um, doing a live video with a new video camera. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, not a new video camera, a new holder uh, for my phone. So I hope this works. It's not really giving me much to work with, but I do, I'm going to adjust it just a little bit. Sorry about that. It's actually pretty fancy. Hi, Karen. Vert your eyes for a second while I put you in place. All right. Here we go. Been having a little bit of a back issue, so I only did two cards tonight. Our host code has not changed. Our host code is Z7CWRR9J. Use that host code when you're ordering with me, and that way you can get put in for a drawing. Um, if your uh, order is above 150, then you can, uh, uh, you don't have to um, use that. Hi, Fran, how are you? Um, you can just get your rewards. Okay. So, I, like I said, I have two cards tonight. Um, remember, April 9th is when they have the sale, the 60% off, all the dyes that are 50% off. A lot of things have already sold out. Um, and um, so remember that um, Paper Pumpkin has to go in by the 10th of the month uh, if you're interested in that. And then other than that, we get to um, order May 1st from the upcoming catalog. All right. So just two cards today. Um, most of them using online exclusives. So when I grab the annual catalog, we only have a few things out of the annual catalog that we're going to use. Is everything looking okay? Is it too shiny? Um, there's a light with this holder. Um, is that better? No, that's more of a blue light. Is that too much light? And turn it off. Is that better? Let's see. We'll keep it there. Okay, sorry. <laughs> New stuff to play with, right, ladies? All right. So remember I gave you my top ten things that are going away. We're going to be using that shimmer paper. We're going to be using it on two different cards, two different colors. All right. That's on page 127. Um, it's that soft shimmer paper combo pack. That's a lovely pack, and I think it's going to be on sale on the 9th. And so get your stuff while you can. And then um, we're going to be using these tailor-made tags. These are also retiring. Page 167. These are great tags. So... Um, I do recommend that die set. It is not going to be on sale. It's just retiring um, to make all kinds of tags, birthday tags, Christmas tags, tags and cards. All right. The rest of the stuff is mostly online. Um, I tried to use stuff that's going to be still available and not run out. So um, I hope you like what I used. All right. Um, which one should we do first? Let's do this one first. Okay, so this one is using the Simply Zinnia set. Let me pull that out. So I've used this set before, um, but I didn't really stamp with it. We just used some of the dies. Um, and so now you can see that ring. Hmm. Is that better? It's hard. Hard to know. It's a little darker. We'll see the ring. I guess we'll see the ring. <laughs> so there's a stamp set, okay? And it has gorgeous dies that come with it. We use the dies to build a flower, remember? And we actually use that shimmer paper with this um, that we're going to be using today. Okay. We're also going to be using some blends. We're going to be using the embellishments that come with the Zinnia. They're the adhesive back sequins. Um, those are item number 163484. Okay, we're going to be using this really cool ribbon. That ribbon, I think, is a carryover the winter. It's going to be in the new 
catalog. It's like a sheer ribbon with silver edging. Um, that number is 162149. If you're interested in ordering it, you can. Um, the Taylor Tag dies. We're going to use this one, okay? Which is, if you have them, is the second largest. So you have more of a square framed one and more of an ornate one. It's the second ornate one, okay? And we're going to take Melon Mambo today. Melon Mambo. We're going to use that for our base. I'm going to take our bone folder. Here that down. Put that aside. Okay. Then we are going to take a piece of our designer series paper that comes with a zinnia. I took a green piece, but there's beautiful floral pieces within that paper pack. Definitely check out that paper pack. It's gorgeous. And I'm just going to adhere this. Make it easy. And this designer paper is cut at four by five and a quarter. My usual format. Um, I like things in a certain way. And then I have background. Now, I'm going to take a piece of basic white and that's also cut at four by five and a quarter. What I'm going to do, and I might do something a little different than the sample card, is I'm going to try to stamp my flowers towards the edge so that I can cut them out so that they hang over. See, like that? Okay. And so we have multiple stamps in that set. These are nice red rubber stamps. Okay, and because we're going to be using markers, our stamp and blends, we are going to use memento because that will not bleed. Okay, and so I'm taking the ink to the stamp rather than the stamp to the ink. So I want a good, good, and these are well, well drawn florals images, and so I want them like right about here and then I thought what if I carried them over here too and it looked like there was a bunch back here rather than like this so let's try that and we can see how that looks okay. are you guys excited about the new kettle I'm excited to show you stuff I've ordered stuff I just don't have it yet Actually, my book of catalogs just came in. So, if you need a catalog, um, please let me know. I will get one to you. Now, what we're going to do is I took Melon Mambo and I took um, Lemon Lime Twist. I liked the Lemon Lime Twist because it was a little brighter. This is one of Marilyn's favorite colors. And you'll have to excuse me, I'm getting... I have the biggest headache with the biggest backache. I don't know what's going on with me. I was trying to eat healthier, exercising this morning. I felt okay. And then I've just been having this backache. And my upper back. Um... And so I'm use, just using the light first to lay down a base. And that's what I frequently do. Okay. And then as you see, after I lay down that base here, let me show you. Then I'll take the darker one. And where there's areas of shadow, like underneath the flower, where the artist had already put lines of shadow, you can add your darker and it gives it a little more character, I think. And maybe a little dark in there, right? Are you guys seeing this okay? Should I come closer? Go. Okay, I'm gonna try and drop this down now. Ooh, ooh. That's a pretty fancy dancy one, so. Can you see it a little better now when I'm coloring? So I'm using the light. 
Let me know like what the view is like, if you're able to see everything okay, because um, I'm experimenting with different phone holders. This is the third one I've purchased since my last one broke. I really liked my last one, but I can't find anything like it. Um, yeah. And then there we go. I see some comments coming. And of course, I don't color as well when I'm on. <laughs> We're good. Okay. No problems. All right. So then I'm going to come in with my darker and shade. Sorry, I didn't pre color this for you. I'll just add some shading here and there. What do they call? I feel like Bob Ross. Happy little truth. <laughs> right? Some shading under there, shading under there. See how nice that makes that look with the shading? So, the easiest way is to go in with a light. And if you want to, you can just do the whole flower in light and not even care. And then I usually put the, with the flower, and you can do these flowers all different colors. You can add yellow in the middle. You can do all kinds of stuff. But these blends make coloring so easy, and it makes everything look so professional. Right? All right. And so after that... So after you color your, oh, I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm not like sick. I'm just in discomfort, <laughs> you know, like you can deal with discomfort yeah. or at least I can. Um, it just impairs you from like every more movement now is slow. See how I'm just putting dark in the shadow. Um, I think it's just muscle. Maybe just slept wrong. Hopefully that's all it is. Um, and like that. So, see? Beautiful, right? So you're going to do that with all your flowers. Now, how to make that edge hang over. I'll show you that. Ooh, reaching for that just made me... Okay. So what I actually, before I took my cutter, I wanted it very even. So I did take a ruler. You should always have a ruler by you. Um, rulers are very helpful. And here we go. So um, what I did is I said, okay, I want about an inch and a quarter in um, from the edge here. Okay, so I did about an inch and a quarter from the edge. And then I marked it with a pencil. I just grabbed one of my one of my little colored pencils, right? And then I did an inch and a quarter from here. Right about there. And then I drew put them together. They don't even look close, do they? So let's see. Is that an inch and a quarter? That's an inch and a quarter. That's not an inch and a quarter. That's an inch and a quarter. See, this is why you do this. <laughs> Measure twice, cut once, right? All right. Oh, you can't even see me. Oh, okay. So, and I don't have enough room for my ruler on this side. Yeah, adventures in, in video planning and scape. So, See how I'm at an inch and a quarter here? I'm going to mark that. Okay. Now that I've marked an inch and a quarter, inch and quarter, I'm going to connect those lines a little bit with my pencil. Just a light. Just a light. Okay. Now you can see. Okay. And now that tells me where I'm going to cut. Okay. So the first cut I'm going to do is actually with my cutter. And so... You don't necessarily have to make those pencil cuts because you have a cutter that can measure an inch and a quarter in. Oh boy, this is okay. I'm gonna bring you guys up again because this is, uh, yeah, so you can see. All right, 
So about an inch and a quarter, you can see right there, would be cutting on that line. So I'm just going to move it a little bit that way. All right. And I'm going to cut with my cutter to the point of the flower, not into the flower. Okay. Like I did. <laughs> it worked much better during my practice, <laughs> during the first time I made it. And then we're going to cut here up until the time you get to the leaf. Okay. Not into the leaf. Okay. So I have my cuts here. And you want those cuts to be fairly straight. Um, and then you're going to take your paper snips. And that's why I used my cutter rather than just cutting them freehand. Okay. And then we're going to take our paper snips and see, and then just cut around here. Yep. And obviously you're going to finish coloring this. All right. And... What do you guys, you guys have seen the new catalog, right? What do you think about it? Hmm? Do you like it? Are there things in there that you need? <laughs> There's a couple sets I need. <laughs> There's some paper that I need. I love the fact that they came out with a new beige color. I think that's cool. Um, so that'll be great. And I ordered that, so hopefully we can play with that soon. And then just go around till you hit that boop and there. And that's how you get that straight edge and then you just cut around. And so you can use that on any card. You could even have your card empty on this side and have it flip like this. You know, have this be the outside and have it flip down. Okay. Um, but that's how you get that edge, okay? Um, good. Yes, it is a different style, but it makes it makes it look cool, right? It gives it a little zhuzh. <laughs> um, and it, it's really not that difficult to do, okay? And so before, so you can put that on here, right? And then it'll make that pop a little bit more, right? But what I did is I decided to take a piece of that gorgeous glimmer paper, that soft shimmer paper. It's so pretty. I don't even know if you can appreciate it. And I put some adhesive right down this side. And I'm using my Stamp and Seal Plus because glimmer paper um, needs a little extra, I think adhesive and try and put it equally on both sides and then you give a little strip underneath there okay pretty cool right and then you put it on your paper here wherever you want good oh you were referring to the catalog yes it is a very different style catalog I gotta you know think of when I ask the questions you know that's a the delay. Yeah. It's it's different. It's different. We're supposed to have more releases, like online releases like this one, the Zinnia, which I love. And I love the Zinnia, and I thought my Zinnia was my favorite. But to tell you the truth, I the Magnolia one, wait till you see that one. That one I tend to like better. So you color your stuff in, okay? And then you're going to take one of your tags, and I stamped one of the sayings. There's many sayings, but I stamped words um, fail to express my gratitude. Sometimes you need a really nice card. And then I just took my ribbon, and with this ribbon, you want to do a double knot. Yeah. So I put it through. It goes through easy. So if you knot it once, it just is kind of wonky. So you want to knot it twice. So the first knot, you end up like that, which isn't too bad. And then I did a second knot. And then it just seemed to like I was able to put it exactly where I want it after the second knot. And so isn't that pretty? It's just pretty, very pretty ribbon. Right? These obviously are my paper. 
Isn't that a pretty ribbon? And then you're going to pop that up. And see how it looks a little bit different with that rather than what I did with the first card is to, I used the background stamp. There's a little stamp in the set that gives you some extra X's and you could do that around there. But I thought I was like, hmm, wouldn't it be nice if we, it looked like a big bouquet behind there? So I kind of like that better. Now, I also stamped out one of the bigger flowers in the set, used one of the dies to cut them out, and then you can pop that right there, you know, um, and that would be cute too. And now you have a big, bigger floral image rather than those dots. Um, but I kind of like that. What do you guys think? I'll finish that after, not to waste your time. Because um, I think you guys get how I put that together. The only other thing I did, um, besides use that little stamp, is use some of our embellishments. Those are the self adhesive back um, sequins. I used the pink and the green. And then I also used my Wink of Stella. So Wink of Stella, as you know, is like a, a glitter, right? That way. That is like a clear glitter brush and it makes everything look prettier, shinier. And so I did that on my flowers only. I don't know if you can see that shine. Mm -hmm. You see that shine? So I colored these with light and dark melon mambo. Okay. And so I think I like that with more of the floral in the background. Um, and then um, I think that looks good like that. Okay, but I'll finish it and I'll post it for you. Okay, wait till you see the next one. Next one, next one is awesome. This is the Magnolia one. <laughs> it's called Magnolia Mood. Um, it is also an online exclusive. It is a beautiful stamp set. I don't have to tilt it to get that little ring away. And I use these two stamps to stamp this background in white on navy. White on navy is just so pretty, right? And then this leaf here, I stamped a navy and lost lagoon. I used one of the sentiments in the set, the happy birthday, but there's other sentiments you can use. A deckled edge die, and then their dies in this set are beautiful. Not only do they cut out the stamped images, but they have this beautiful die, and I use that with the shimmer paper um, in the Lost Lagoon color. Um, but you could use all these leaves, all these different florals, all these other dies. It is a great set. So let me show you how I did the background. Um, Make some room here, right? So you take a piece of your Knight of Navy. And this is how you can create your own backgrounds. You don't need, always need fancy paper. You can make your own fancy paper. Although, oh, some of the paper in the new catalog is to die for. All right, so then you're gonna take your embossing buddy and you're gonna apply your powder to get rid of any stick on your card. We're gonna take our Versamark, because that's our sticky ink where the embossing powder will stick. Um, and then we are gonna take this beautiful stamp here. I've cut my stamps, so don't think that they came like that. I cut them because I don't like edges um, on my images. But see, the image is perfect. And these images are so detailed. So I have this one and the, and the flower right there. Okay. And we just go around the edges. Go around the edges. And so again, just ink up my stamp here. And then as I go around, 
<laughs> this one I probably should do like this. As I go around the edges, I change the position of the floral. See, I don't go like that because that was in the same, so I'm going to flip it. And I'm going to give partial around here. And I don't care about the center because we're not going to see the center, right? And so we're going to do that. And then this one should come in like this. Right. And then this one can come in like this and take up a lot of room. I love that cone shape. And then that. Right. And then I want the big cone. And see how I'm just twisting and changing direction with the flower as I go along. If there's an empty space, put a leaf there. You know, it's as if it was a patterned, right? Okay, and then I take my white. What are you saying? A patterned cloth or a pattern, you know, that keeps repeating. So I'm going to take that up, use my white embossing powder, and dump that over there. And look at those images. They're just beautiful, beautiful images. So I keep my embossing powder in Tupperware containers. It does get some air that way, so you do have to replace it every once in a while, but not very frequently. Um, just got to be careful. So if you keep yours in Tupperware containers and you're finding that your powder really isn't melting well, it isn't sticking well, it's because it had too much air probably get into it or it's too old and it just needs to be replaced. Okay. All right. And now I'm flicking off all the extra and now you see mm, I have all this extra stuff. Well, the stuff in the middle I'm not as concerned about, but if you wanted to, the easiest thing to do, and this is why I keep paint brushes right on my desk. <laughs> and of course, whenever you're looking for one, you can't find one. <laughs> All right, so let me grab one over here. I, have a, I usually have a smaller one. Um, but you can just wipe the powder off, right? So wipe the powder off where you don't want it, especially on this back side here. So you can take paint brushes and wipe that powder off, right? Not going to matter much in there. Might matter a little there. Good. See that? Let's see how pretty that is. Oh, wait till we heat it. Okay. So now that that's perfect, we will use our heat embossing tool. Oh, it was right by my heat embossing tool. So our heat embossing tool has two settings, one and two. One's for drying, two's for heating. Excuse the noise while I heat, but you'll be able to see this as it changes. And so watch, watch that upper right corner. And all of a sudden it'll start to become white and shiny and beautiful and give a nice contrast and look at the detail in that leaf that artwork is just beautiful in the sketching so you're going to go through each image and hold your heat on it you want to hold your heat on it until it changes you don't want to do like this all over you want to hold it specifically in one place until it is done heating that place and that way you don't get any spots that are not heated through that will come off later okay and then after a while you can just see it just going all the way around I love embossing this would be pretty in gold and in silver isn't it yeah do black um, white or vanilla. Remember that our vanilla um, thick cardstock is going away. Our vanilla envelopes are going away. We're not getting rid of the very vanilla. 
it just those aren't selling I guess so we only will only have the light berry vanilla it is it's beautiful right you could just use this card by itself but these stamps like this stamp set is to me is just amazing right the detail of the leaves and is just pretty and then the dyes that come with it are gorgeous too and we're going to use one of those in a second look at that what a beautiful 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 and there's just something about white on navy i think i mean you could do this lost lagoon on white you could do this purple on white you know or purple on a you know so you don't have to do the embossing and you can make a quick background with this stamp set like this but i just love this so i think i'm done good i think i'm done with that but it's worth i think it's worth the extra work look at that i just love that give me a thumbs up if you like that <laughs> I love that. <laughs> All right. Then we're going to take one of our rectangled edges. Edge dies. Our, yeah. What do you call Deckled edge rectangles. Okay. So I cut that out of our white. And then we're going to take this here leaf stamp. And because we're going to use Na Night of Navy and Lost Lagoon and the coloring, I decided to use that and the leaves. Not that you often see these colors in nature on leaves, but we get to stamp whatever color we want. <laughs> um, I am now looking for my chamois. Uh, my chamois chamois. And here it is. Um, just to make sure I get the color off. Actually, I think I might do the sentiment first, so I know where my I want my sentiment. All right, and then go down from there. All right, so the sentiment, the happy birthday, I did in Night of Navy first. So we're gonna open our pad. You guys can see everything. I'm not going off screen. I'll check it later. This is my first one with this setup this is better than my last setup for me so I hopefully it's better for you and now see how that there's that marking right there that's from this edge okay if you want to you can cut your stamp so it doesn't have the edge so it has less of an edge less likely to leave that what we call that halo I do have uh, sand erasers um, they're not made by stamping up I use those to erase the ink um, really it peels off some of the paper um, so you got to be careful um, and there that's a little better okay and then what we're gonna do is we're going to take our leaf stamp this beautiful stamp wait till you see how it stamps it's just the leaf right you think it's just oh it's just the leaf let me show you how it's gonna stamp Look at how beautiful that is. It's like, it almost looks like a feather. It is just so pretty. And you're going to alternate these, you know, change positions so they look like a different stamp. Um, and then we're going to change colors and throw some Lost Lagoon leaves in there. Isn't that a pretty stamp? Just changing, making sure I don't have any left, and changing to Lost Lagoon. I hope everyone's having a good weekend. I am definitely having an okay weekend. I'm trying to commit to healthier lifestyle and, you know, changes. Been busy. You guys are doing, an, I hope you're safe for the eclipse. See how pretty that is? And now, one thing, while you still have your leaf stamp out, you may want to 
take your inside piece and do some stamping on that. Especially, I like I like to stamp in this corner down here. You know, you could do a little few, you know, even up here. Okay, and so you have some stamping, some color on the inside of your card before that goes in. All right, that makes it prettier, I think. So because we gotta switch to a navy, we gotta put some navy on the inside too, right? Can't just leave Lost Lagoon by itself. So put some navy on the inside. All right. I'm gonna put that up there. And put another one up there, a little bit going off. Page. How about like there? Look how pretty that is. Love the stamp. You're gonna want to stamp the stamp all over. It's just beautiful. I don't know if you can focus. Look at that. How beautiful that is. Oh, you're doing the first aid booth. Well, you are amazing friend i have to work believe it or not um even though they canceled patients um there's still a lot of work to do so i'm going to work on that day but hopefully we'll be able to check out before we do before the eclipse comes you know go outside um my husband did invite some friends of ours up so that'll be fun but see how cool that looks on the inside when you do your writing Right, so we have that, and we have our outside, and then we have this. Oh, how pretty that's going to be. And now we're just going to take a piece of this ribbon. And now this ribbon pack comes in gold and silver together. Um, it's online exclusive, but it's going to be in the new annual catalog. And so I'm just going to put that around. And how I put it around, I just put a little bit of adhesive back on the back of this deckled edge rectangle. And I want it under the happy birthday, so I should have paid attention where I'm putting the sticky stuff. Yeah, that's good. And like that. Okay, and then I just cut it a little bit. See how pretty that is with the silver? Okay. And then our dimensionals. I don't want our minis right now. I want our big ones. Because I want this popped up. I want it popped up on that beautiful navy background that we just made and so you can use as many as you feel are necessary i think for this size it's fairly small size so we can use five and so then i'm just going to put that right in the middle there how pretty wouldn't you love a birthday card like that now where are we going to use this shimmer paper we're going to use a shimmer paper on that die cut i cut it out I did have I did send it twice through the embossing uh, machine because the paper's a little thicker, but that's that beautiful shimmer paper. It's the Lost Lagoon. In that pack, there is Bubble Bath, Berry Burst, Lost Lagoon, um, Night of Navy, and I think another one. Oh yeah, and Pretty Peacock. So now you know why it was like my favorite paper. And so we're gonna put some small mini dimensionals on the back of this flower to pop it up the areas that are not open that's what we're aiming for okay and then we're going to pop that on our card and we are almost done does anyone have any questions there's a lot of new stuff always check out the website if you have questions you can always ask me if you have questions and if I don't know the answer I can find them out but look at that so then you can place that right there see how pretty that is okay then we're gonna take just another small piece of our ribbon that silver we're just gonna tie a little tie you can tie a bow here I kind of sometimes just like a little tie rather than a bow Right, it's prettier. And do a little, choo -choo. Choo -choo. maybe a little bit like that. Don't know why that's like that, huh? That's interesting. Oh, I think I had something else on it. 
<laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I did there. All right. So we have that. Okay. And then, um, last but not least, we're going to use these beautiful embellishments. These, I think, were left over from a Christmas holiday, but they're in the new catalog, and they're beautiful. And so they have like a Lost Lagoon light and a silver. So what I did is I take the Lost Lagoon one and I put it away from this big Lost Lagoon color here and put it up in here. Okay? And then the lighter silver we can put down here. And then the other type of color we'll put over here. And then that just gives it some bling. Love that card. Do you guys like it? And then your inside has those flowers, or has the leaves. All right. All right. So, if you have questions, let me know. I Hopefully, when I go back, this was mostly on screen. I've looked a couple times and I wasn't entirely on screen. I apologize for that. It's just me getting used to a new uh, video camera holder. Um, please call with any questions. Email me. Text me. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, a beautiful Sunday and a great eclipse day. <laughs> okay. Bye everyone. God bless.